Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be fixing a mistake that I made. And that mistake is with my amp for my two subwoofers. Because whenever I mounted my amp, I didn't mount it. I didn't mount it. There was no mounting involved. I just set it in that tray beneath where the subwoofers are sitting, and I hoped it would be okay. And it's not. It's not okay. The thing is sliding around, and the wires have actually came loose now. So... What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be building a shelf for it in there because I want to keep it in the same spot. It's really nice and concealed there. So we're going to keep it in the same spot. We're going to be building a tiny shelf for it to, to mount the amp to so that it doesn't slosh around and slide around. And, and then we're going to be securing the wires in place and doing all that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I've taken my amp off. i got all the wires that weren't loose disconnected from it. Basically I've got the stack of wood here. We're not going to be using all of it. But uh, this right here, let me turn this so I can actually see. Make sure you guys are seeing okay. Okay, so this right here is where our amp's actually going to sit on and mount to. Okay, these are going to be some of the reinforcement pieces and stuff like that. But uh, right now I'm going to bring out the amp and I'm going to show you if it's perfectly on here. It's not a very big amp, so. It fits on here pretty nicely. So uh, we're going to be mounting it to this. And uh, these should be some little shelving that's in there. So uh, hopefully this will work. So I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna get take some measurements, and then we're gonna start building the actual wood piece. Okay guys, so sorry about the lighting. I'm probably gonna try to fix that in just a second. But uh, real quick, I wanted to show you that this is what we're gonna be doing right here. Making this right here. Putting these two pieces together so that this can sit in the way I want it to. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here in just a moment. Okay, so, I'm going to use my drill light for this. Um, as you can see, guys, I went ahead and screwed it in there, nice and secure. So now I'm going to go in there and lay it in there and to make sure it's the right size. All right, guys, so I got us some lighting out here. This shelf that I just built, okay. these two pieces put together work absolutely flawlessly. I'll show you whenever we get in there. But real quick, before we do that, I want to go ahead and mount the amp to it to make it a good bit easier. But I'm going to mount it closer to, I'm going to mount the two places where the screws go closer to this side. Making it so that we have enough room over here to actually secure our wires. Okay, I don't think that that amp is going anywhere now. So, now that we have our amp nice and secured to this, uh, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to get a shot of y'all in there. That way y'all can see me rewire it. And uh, hopefully this does the trick. This thing is quite heavy. Um, so it shouldn't slide around anymore. But uh, we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to walk around to the side and set the amp in so you guys can see what it looks like in there. Pull all these wires out of the way. Okay. Let's put these in here. And I actually don't think it's going to close. So we may have to move our amp. No. Okay, here's the top of the amp. Um, that is going to be an issue. Okay. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to turn the amp around. And uh, go ahead and screw it in on the other side. So that we have enough room for this to work. So the only issue I currently have is this, which is why I did not want to do it this way. That's uh, really cool. Actually, set all these in there. And we'll 
get a safe clutch. Once we fix this issue right here, yeah, I think it'll work out and I think it'll be just fine. That's what I think. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Okay guys, so I think I got it figured out. Okay guys, so you might remember this from our dumpster dive episode. This is one of the Wii skins we found. So this thing likes to, you know, slide around. So this is going to be this rubber that I, I was talking about probably just a minute ago. That's going to stop it from doing that. So... We're going to be cutting it up and using it. So, the main reason why I'm cutting it up is because these end pieces are not going to sit down flush. So, they're going to be an issue for us. Okay. Now it will sit down nice and flush. We're just going to screw it to it. It will be done. Actually, I'm not going to use these long screws. I'm going to uh, try to find some shorter ones. There's another idea. We could start them and then cut them off, you know, like we did with the uh, with the soldering table, which is what I actually think I'm going to do. So, now we've started it. Got us a nice hole. I'm gonna go ahead and start the other one. Now we're gonna go get us a pair of clines and cut these off. So obviously this is not the most ideal way to screw something into place, but uh, it does work. So. Who am I to argue with something that works? All right. Oh. Okay. Well, that went right through the light, the rubber. So, uh, we're going to be double layering it. So now we've got it secured to it. Let's see what it does. Why do I feel like this? Oh yeah, that's a definitely a lot less movement than before. Definitely. Okay guys, so the next thing that I want to do is uh, I want to turn this into a harness so that it is a lot easier to deal with. Not quite as much of a hassle like it is now. So we're going to pull this out of here and uh, start working on this. Okay guys, got the harness made up. I went ahead and skipped ahead to it. Uh, I made it up with zip ties, so yeah. I thought it's just, I can cut all those later on if I ever need to move this thing or anything like that. But uh, yeah. So now, we're gonna be setting this in place. Let's pull our harness out of the way. Oh God, that is so much easier to deal with now. Oh, we gotta put it in the right way first. Oh yeah. You guys, that is awesome. That barely even freaking moves right there. I mean, it moves a little bit because of the rubber, but I mean, it's a, it's a lot better than it was. I'm better like that. Okay. So what we're gonna be now is we're gonna be re what we're going to be doing now 
is uh, wiring it back up. Okay, so now everything is really tidy, really nice and neat. Uh, I've spent a good bit of time doing that. So, hopefully, this thing will... It looks good to me. It looks really great, to be honest with you guys. To me, it looks really awesome. Uh, got the speakers in there to hold it back. This thing is not moving, you know, unless I really push on it because of that Wii grip. That Wii grip is literally... It's a silicone molded thing to keep, it, to keep things from sliding. So uh, real quick, I'm going to pull you guys a strap and show you everything I've done. Okay guys, so maybe this is a better view for you. As you can see, the piece of wood is here. And basically it angles down and goes down there and seats. Now what I've done is I've put these zip ties here to hold all these wires in place. And then we have our harness here. Okay, now if you'll notice, these wires are like circled and back and all that. That's so that I don't have to cut anything and solder it and put it back together because that's a lot of extra work that I, that really just doesn't need to be done to be honest with you so this you know it may not look quite as appealing but it does do the trick and it gets the wires out of the way which is our intended purpose so this is gonna work uh, we've got enough length here to go to the subs um, so now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the key and we're gonna make sure that this thing comes on before we do anything else that's gonna be the next step so I'm about to go do that Okay guys, great news. Uh, I'm going to turn off this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. As you can probably see, the Quantum Audio is illuminated. Which means that we wired it up properly and everything works. Okay guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned something from it. Uh, like, not to, not to wire your subwoofers so that the amp's flopping around everywhere. And, uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I want to say that I love all of you guys. And I thank each and every one of you for watching my videos, you know. I, I don't think I say this enough, but even though I don't get, you know, hundreds of thousands of views on my videos, you know, even the 8 or 10 of you that come to my channel to watch my videos, that, that brings me joy and it warms my heart. So, every time you guys watch my videos and leave a like, and even if you haven't subscribed and you feel like subscribing to me, you know, either do or don't. You know, it, I'm not going to be mad at you for not subscribing to me, guys. I love all of you that watch my videos, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your week, day, month, you know, whatever. And I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.